Moses with you. Welcome live from the Lido deck. What up? Hold my drink. Hold my drink. All right. She she, she wants me to keep drinking, but I, I, I told her, baby girl, I'm about to break a little shum shum. We're going to break 2015 prison football number 17. That's uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So, uh, so let's get to it. Any day now. All right, cool. All righty. Uh, put this on the side here. Have you met Abraham? There, that's Abraham. Yo. Good luck, everybody. Boom. Where is my knife? There's my knife. All right, we're doing a half caser of this thing. I'm just going to pick the top six boxes. Four, five, and six. Just take all the pecs out and rip it. Well, these are prisms. I believe these are... 55s. See what we got here. Who's in this break? If you're in this break, let me know what team you got. Let it be known. Let's speak it into existence, baby. What hits are you trying to get? What are you trying to see? Let's get some chat activity. Come on, folks. Get to chatting. How is everybody doing tonight? Tomorrow's Friday. Depending on where you're at on the planet, it might be Friday already. Got the weekend coming up. Got some packs ripping. That Super Chrome checklist is out. Wait, you mean the Super Break? Jay wants to see Dalvin Cook. Well, I'll tell you, you're not going to see him in this because this is 2015, my man. Dalvin Cook was 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Ninja got the Cowboys, Chiefs, and the Browns. My boy Ben got the Jags and the Rams. So I know you're trying to see uh, Todd Gurley, and I think Jalen Ramsey was a rookie in this too. Or you want TJ Yeldon? There you go. Let's get it. Now I'm going to open up all the packs now. But Jay Horschwagler, uh, Dalvin Cook was not a rookie in 2015. He was still playing in college. If I'm not mistaken, Dalvin Cook is 2017. Oh, Ramsey was 16 draft. There you go. My man knows his, knows his football. Uh, yeah, Nick. Tops, uh, tops tier one got re uh, rescheduled, or I should say, delayed by the manufacturer. Uh, it got pushed back for next week, Wednesday, which is the twenty third. Uh, I will be sending emails out to everyone that won teams in the tier one breaks, letting them know what's up, and I will also give them uh, a date and time for when the break is gonna happen, uh, Nick. But yes, to answer your question, Tier 1 was delayed. 
So unfortunately, I won't be ripping that tonight. A low numbered Bortles. Let's 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 get let's speak it into existence, Ben. That way, when I actually hit it, I look like a like a savant or something. No problem, Nick. No problem. Living in America. How does that song go? Ah, ah, across the nation or something like that. Living in America. I feel good. Uh, what was I gonna say, man? Seriously, if Apollo did not dance. If he didn't have that little routine before that before that fight, Apollo probably would have gave uh, Ivan Drago a run, a run for his money, man. But no, Apollo just had to had to dance with James Brown. Had to had to you know get a little tired, and then he got destroyed by Ivan Drago. I want to see that. I want to see that movie. They're gonna make a sequel to Creed, and in the sequel, it's gonna be Creed's son against Ivan Drago's son. That'll be crazy. Oh, James Brown! James Brown could dance, man. He could do that, bro. That guy was a pimp for sure. R.I.P. James Brown. That's arguably the funkiest man ever to breathe oxygen right there. Jackie Brown could kick James Brown's ass. Well, seeing as how Jackie Brown's a fiction, well, it might be based on a true character. I don't know. Jackie Brown, isn't that isn't that the movie? Is that what you're talking about, Bo D? Yeah, Jackie Brown, wasn't she like a a stewardess or something? Out here smuggling drugs and whatnot. That was a good movie. That was a real good movie. I don't think I've ever seen a Tarantino movie that sucked. Same thing. Like, there's a few directors I don't think have ever made a terrible movie. Tarantino's one of them. Uh, I can't think of his name. But the dude that made the good fellow, the good fellas, and all those other movies. What was it? What was it? What was it? We do accept PayPal on our website. Dubious. All you have to do is register for an account and put in your payment information when it asks for it. Bodine, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Oh damn! I had to, I had the I had his name on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Scorsese. That's another. That's another director that I think has never made a crappy movie. Tomas, thank you for helping out our buddy right there. I've never seen a Scorsese movie that I've never enjoyed. Uh, what's another really good director? The guy they made the Batman trilogy? Well, I forget his name. With Christian Bale. That whole Batman trilogy. That director was pretty good. George Lucas, but that's because I like all the Star Wars movies. Yeah, Christopher something, right? I can't... I was going to say Christian Bale, but that's the actor, though. M. Night Shyamalan is definitely not a great... Well, he was a great director. And then he started coming out with like these really crappy movies. 
But like up until he came out with signs in the sixth sense or whatever. Christopher Nolan, that's his name, yes. Great director. Uh, but nah, M. Night Shyamalan, like, The Village, or whatever that movie is called, was kind of, eh. Devil, where they're stuck in the elevator, was kind of, eh. I've only ever seen two M. Night Shyamalan movies where I was like, oh shit, fire. And that would be uh, The Sixth Sense and Signs. What a twist. Although I will say, he didn't he come out with that other movie recently? Uh, I want to say like either last year or a couple week, couple years ago. Unbreakable was great, but then they came out with like a semi-sequel to Unbreakable recently. Um, with the guy with multiple personalities. Wasn't that a, a Shyamalan movie too? I've never seen Lady in the Water, actually. I've never heard of that movie. I might have to check that out. Dang, what's the name of that movie with the guy that has m multiple personalities? That was a Shyamalan movie too, I think. Ben Affleck turned into a somewhat decent actor. Watch Lady in the Water. I will do. Will do. Hopefully it's like on Netflix or Hulu or something. Split. There it is. Thank you, Benjamin. That's the movie. Split. That's like a set, like, I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it, but that's like a, a kind of a, kind of a sequel to Unbreakable. But yes, Split, great movie. M. Night Shyamalan did his thing on that movie. I, I really like Split. I really, I really liked it. I've seen Apocalypse Now, but I have not seen The Godfather. I know, I know. One of these days, I'm going to put a, a day aside. I'm going to watch the, the Godfather trilogy. And it, it, will, it will take me about a day to do that. Isn't The Happening the one with... I think his name is Ewan, 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 Ewan McGregor, whatever. The, guy, the Jedi guy. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, where... Like the plants come alive and they, they come out with like these spores that make people kill themselves. Is, it, is that the happening? Oh, it's with Mark Wahlberg. I may have got the actor wrong, but I got the movie right, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty. Baby Driver is a great movie. I was talking about that uh, either earlier today or yesterday, but I, I have not seen that many like new original movies. Baby Driver would be one of them. Baby, because you know, nowadays I feel like they're coming out with a lot of remakes, a lot of uh, comic book movies and stuff like that. But I, I like seeing original movies. Split, an original movie, great movie. Baby Driver, an original movie, great movie. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That sounds like a black and white movie. Alright. 
You the man, Steven. What you talking about? I ain't nobody. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. This is your world, baby. I'm just living in it. All right, finally done opening up all these packs. Enough talking about M. Night Shyamalan and whatever. Let's see the hotness. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Jonathan Stewart, red for the Panthers. The reds aren't numbered. At least not that version of it. Randy Gregory, Cowboys red. A Franco Harris die cut. Where the autos at? Supposed to get two autos per box in this deal. There you go. Jordan Matthews Eagles. That's number 50. Oh, man, I can't wait for football season to come around. I wonder how the Dolphins are going to disappoint me this year. I wonder how they're going to disappoint me this year. Number to 150, Owamagbe Odigizua. The blue wave auto for the Giants. These are 55s. Yes, they fit beautifully in 55s. JJ Watt, Texans. This blue is not numbered. I'm glad they got rid of die cuts in Prism. I think 2015 was the last year they started. They they stopped the uh, the die cuts. Number to 100 for the Jets. Devin Smith. Auto. Drew Brees, Saints, Blue. Dante Moncrief, Colts, Green. This one not numbered either. Now these blues are numbered. As you can see the difference there between this blue and this blue. You see? You see what I'm saying? Lawrence Taylor, LT. Arguably one of the greatest linebackers ever. That blue wave numbered to 150. And Desmond Lewis, Bills, also to 150. All right, so that's it for that box. What else you got? Kenny Bell with a base autograph for the Bucks. Go ahead and. Uh, do that rock door. Uh, we are here to open. Fossil sounds good. Garrett. Sammy Colts blue for the Steelers. Or the Steelers, as they say out there. Riley Cooper, Eagles. I don't think he's playing anymore. He had a little fiasco a couple years ago. Landon Collins, red for the Giants. This red is numbered, as you can see. Got that pattern on there. Numbered to 99. See a green coming up. Is it a cracked ice? No. Riley Cooper, green, Eagles. Oh, Ryan Tannehill. <sighs> it's a shame that I got to hope you don't get hurt. Ooh, nice. A blue girly. Rookie auto for the Rams. That's a nice card. We spoke it into existence. Number 33 out of 100. There you go. That's a nice hit for the Rams. That's a real nice hit. Rams might make some noise this year. They made a lot of moves in this offseason. Let's see what else we got.
There you go, Ben. Let that be a lesson to everybody. Always make your requests in the chat. Speak it into existence, baby. Ask and you shall receive. Exactly, Tomas. Just business as usual. Uh, Danny Shelton Browns. That's number to fifty. Levante David Bucks Red. Greg Olson Panthers Red. Now you know the now you know the deal, Ben. Now you know the the procedure. Say hi to Uncle Jesse or whoever the breaker is. It's either gonna be me or Jason. Say hi and then make your request. And it shall happen. Or at least you know it'll be out there in the universe. Uh, we have the 99 Andre Ellington Cardinals. Yeah, Benjamin, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to, sorry about that. Unfortunately, that's out of our control. The manufacturer decided Monday to postpone the release by a week, and you know by that point, there's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, David Cobb Green for the Titans. Like I said, I will notify everyone with a break date and time. So it will happen, Benjamin. Just got to wait. Just got to wait a little bit. Let the hits marinate. What else we got? Tomas, me and you be on the same wavelength, dog. Danny Shelton, red for the Browns. Number 299. Thank you, Benjamin. I appreciate you being cool as the other side of the pillow. Rod Woodson Green for the Steelers. Exactly, baby. That's what I'm talking about, Benjamin. Stay stay sexy. Amari Cooper, Raiders, Green. As always, all kid reporter cards will go to their designated spot. Ra ra. A Jameis Winston portrait short print for the Bucks. R.I.P. Stuart Scott, one of my favorite uh, sportscasters. You know, I, I try to keep I try to keep my peoples alive. You know, they live through me, baby. What's up, Noah? What it do? Ripping a little 2015 Prism football right now for eBay. Terrell Davis, blue wave for the Broncos. That is number two hundred and fifty. Jay Ajayi going to the Dolphins. That's number to 50. What else we got? Another Awamagbe Odigizuwa autograph for the Giants. Another one of my favorite sportscasters, Kenny Main. Shout outs, Kenny Main. Shaq Thompson, Panthers Red. Johnny Manziel, Browns Blue. I hear he's trying to get back into the NFL. What else we got? Mario Alford, Bengals Blue. To 99, Brett Hundley. Packers rookie auto. Too bad he's not with the Packers anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. I need some water. <coughs> Excuse me. Tamba Ali. Chiefs blue. I think where where did Brett got traded? I forgot where though. And a red Kelvin Benjamin there for the Panthers. Well, he wasn't a fail, uh, James Bodine. 
He's he was the backup quarterback to Aaron Rodgers. Mr. Discount Double Check. Come on, man. Let me get some water real quick. There we go. All right, cool beans. Did I go through these already? I think so. Yes, I did. All right. What do we got? Melvin Gordon, red for the Chargers. Another good rookie in 2015. Jamar Charles, blue. Chiefs. What do we have here? Kevin White with the portrait short print for the Bears. Has anybody seen this guy? You know, Mitch Trubisky would like to know where you're at, uh, Kevin. What else we got? Jordan Matthews Blue for the Eagles. DeMarcus Ware Purple for the Broncos. Everybody's just a failure, huh, Bodine? DeMarcus Ware not a failure, though, to Fitty, Broncos. To 300, Eddie Goldman, the autograph. Well, my boy's always excited to card Arsenal. Check out his stream on Twitch, man. Demarius Thomas Green, Broncos. Eric Rowe Green, Eagles. Just the fails. <laughs> DeMarco Murray, Red Eagles. A blue wave for Ryan Tannehill, Dolphins. All my hopes for the Dolphins rest on this man's shoulders. Number to 150. And I got to tell you, not exactly uh, happy about that. Huh? What you talking about, Tomas? He said you. He said you saw him. He well. He told me that you went over there or whatever. Philip Dorsett, Colts blue wave to one fifty. Yeah, you got show my badge. David Cobb to one twenty five for the Titans. Boom. All right, two boxes left. We got to take the trash out here. Do that after this break. Thank you, sir. a little green cracked ice for Jerry Rice. That is number 75. So 299 Taylor Heineke Vikings Auto. Devin Funches Panthers to one fifty. Cecil Shorts Red Texans.
And Amari Cooper. Short print. Raiders. Portrait. David Johnson, Red Cardinals. To 199. Ooh, haven't seen this too often. For the Chiefs and the Steelers, Chris Conley and Sammy Coates. Mm, that's probably going to have to get randomed. Let's see who owns the Chiefs and who owns the Steelers. Two different people. Yeah, so I got to do a random for that. I will do that at the end of the break. But I do need some more top loaders here. There you go, Jason. Fucking bam. You get, Jason? That's going to be a tough random right there. I'm really not a fan of these. What's a DRF uh, two card? Kirk Cousins, Green Redskins. Trey Mason, Red Rams. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, Marcus Wheat and Steelers, Blue Wave. Number to 150. Word, Boldine, Word, or two card arsenal. I mean, learning a little something, something. Her cousin's red, Redskins. Tie dye, nice one. A Tom Brady tie dye for the Patriots. I think it's number to 25. Yep. 19 to 25. That's pretty sweet. All right. Last box mojo. Make some top loaders here. There are 11 teams left, Noah. Argentina, Colombia, England, France, Germany, Iceland, Panama, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Spain, and Switzerland. All right, last box, Mojo Ra. Good luck, everyone. Max Williams, Ravens Green. Chris Carter, Vikings Blue. Tom Brady, Red Prism for the Patriots. That's numbered to 99. Jameson Carter, Blue for the Redskins. Deion Sanders, Falcons Purple. Word, Tomas, I figured you were uh, handling that all day. To 50 Dion, Neon Dion. What do we have here? To 299, Stefan Anthony, the Saints autograph. Jeremy Macklin, red for the Chiefs. Number to 75, Bud Dupree, Steelers. 
Uh, Noah, coming after this is Absolute Football Half Caser number three, 2016. Right after this break, Cameron Artist Payne Panthers Red Prism. That is number 99. Patrick Peterson Cardinals Red. Stack Mojo. I think I see a gold back there. A green clay Matthews Packers. Oh yeah, dude. You want to be a green a card. And a Chris Carter gold for the Vikings. That's number to ten. Hashtag that's nice. And that's gonna do it for the break. So before I recap the autographs, I gotta random this card. I'm gonna do it pretty easy. Easy for me, anyway. I'm all about making my life easier. So, how am I going to do this? Fairly simple. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, it's going to the Chiefs. If I get an even number, it's going to the Steelers. So, odd top, even bottom. Odd top, even bottom. Here we go. Good luck. Even number. I'm sorry, odd. The number seven is odd. Odd top team. So, this card right here. We'll go to the Chiefs. Sorry, Steelers. Good, Dual Good. auto. Good going to the Chiefs. And it's funny because, uh, obviously picked the winning, uh, spot, but the chat picked the card. Alrighty. Recap time. So, what are our other autographs? We have Stephon Anthony Saints, Taylor Heineke Vikings, David Cobb Titans, Eddie Goldman Bears, Brett Hundley Packers, Owamag Bay Odigizua Giants, and another one of his, this one blue, Giants, Todd Gurley Rams, that's sick, Kenny Bell Bucks, and Devin Smith of the Jets. And not to mention the dual auto of Chris Conley, Sammy Coates. This dual auto goes to the Chiefs. And that was the break, you guys. 2015 Prism Football Hobby Half Case number 17. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you, eBay.